So in in going through John, we're we're reminding you, hey, keep reading the Bible and keep and you know what? You can read the, the book of John over and over again and yeah. just come through it slowly with us and you'll just get more and more out of it, I promise you, because the word always says more, doesn't it? And so here Jesus is, and it's at nighttime. And Nicodemus is a Pharisee, which was one of the rulers. And he came at night because he didn't want anyone to see him because Jesus is a very controversial subject at this point, right? And uh, and so he comes in and he says, we know that you must have God in you because of the signs, because right. of the miracles yeah. that you're doing. So he's like, I can see your life. I know that the Lord must be in you. And then Jesus answers, says, in truth, um, is very truth, I tell you, unless a man has been born over again or what we call born again, he cannot see the kingdom of God. But how is it possible, said Nicodemus, for a man to be born when he's old, because obviously he's older than born, obviously, can he enter his mother's womb a second time and be born? So he's thinking physically, right? And so obviously, and then Jesus answered, in truth I tell you, no one can enter the kingdom of God without being born from water and spirit. I think, so what know, does that mean? I think even before that, mm -hmm. you know, Nicodemus, like you mentioned, you know, he's a he's a religious guy. He comes he comes to Jesus and he and he says, you know, he starts off by saying, I know you're a man of God and, you know, and all of that. And Jesus cuts to the chase. Unless you're born again, you can't see the kingdom of God. Right. Well, you know, so Nicodemus was like, well, you know, I, I was going to I was going to ease into that. Mm -hmm. But but, you know, Jesus just cuts to the chase yeah. right away. Right. Yeah. Um, and I, I like that uh, about him, that there's not a lot of, you know, there's not a lot of platitudes or, you know, hi, how's your mom? How's your dad? You know, and that kind of thing. It's just like, this is what you need. Mm -hmm. Right. Well, and he also knew who he was talking to. Yeah, exactly. Right. If you need, how's your mom? How's your dad? Jesus will talk to you like that, too. Right. Yeah. So, but, but Nicodemus was a teacher. He was coming to find out something. Yeah. And Jesus knew what he was getting to before they thought, you know what? I know what you want. Yeah. Don't you find like that's what she's like, listen, listen, Nicodemus, I know what you want. This is what you want. And then it says, um, flesh can give birth only to flesh. It is spirit that gives birth to spirit. You ought not to be astonished. Obviously, Nicodemus is like, oh, right. <laughs> then when I tell you that you must be born over again, there it is again. The wind blows where it wills. You're, you hear the sound of it, but you do not know where it comes from or where it goes. So with everyone who is born from spirit, Nicodemus replied, how is this possible? What said Jesus? Is this famous teacher of Israel ignorant of such things? In very truth, I tell you, we speak of what we know and testify to what we have seen. And yet you all reject our testimony. If you disbelieve me when I talk to you about things on earth, how are you to believe if I should talk about things of heaven? So okay. he's well, really he's really laying it in to Nicodemus, well, he, don't you find? Well, like he, he's really he giving is. her. <laughs> but, I, but I think you know the, the, the <laughs> salient point for me is that you know living in the uh, living in the in the flesh and living in the spirit are two different are two different um, what would you call it motivations or, or oh, okay yeah, yeah or realms yeah yeah and uh, to to live in the spirit it's 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 like the wind. You you know um, you know and, and we see you know later on in the in the gospels we see you know like Philip for an example he's down here in one town and the next thing he's in the back of a chariot and and you know the God wants to take us into a into a different realm into mm -hmm. a different um, a different way of living mm -hmm. than than uh, than what we're used to in our yeah, in the in temporary our day life and so <clears throat> the, the action for me. Jesus is actually making the comparison between the natural world, if you will, and the supernatural or the spirit world, uh, because we we have we know what happens here. I mean, we know uh, we have birth. You know, you, you have a baby, you have a birth, you plant seeds, you get a harvest, you right. Uh, mm -hmm. But he's saying, but and that's all good. So so you get to know all of this stuff, and we do. I mean, we know how to plant, and we know all of that stuff. But he said, no, no, no. Now step over here. The same as if, as if you're born here, you have to be born in the other world too. So it says, it says be born in the spirit has the same uh, reasonings as in, as in the natural world. You have to learn how this world works. And so he's challenging the leader. He's saying, 
So you know how, I mean, you don't even know how this world works. <laughs> how am I going to tell you about how this world works, mm -hmm. right? And so he's opening his eyes, and he's opening our eyes, that there are two separate worlds. There are two separate two separate spheres of influence and principles of life. The principles that work here don't work here. So these principles, which are higher principles, more powerful principles, this, the spiritual the principles, spiritual spiritual, is what you're spiritual about. principles, okay. you. spiritual principles, spiritual principles, are, principles are, are just different from they're the physical. They're different than this, but these principles can influence the natural principles, but the natural principles can't influence the spiritual. Well, thankfully, he uses physical principles well, like us, us in the so that we can understand the spiritual. Well, and, he always and, uses the physical to help us understand. Always, always. And right? So, so don't don't worry. Yeah. So no. <laughs> yeah. Look, look at this. The scientific and the principles that we use and the medicines that we have and the chemicals and going to the moon and all that, all are discovered principles that are already here. Mm -hmm. they, they they didn't make anything that wasn't here. They just discovered how here works. Right. And we've done. Lots. Fantastic yeah. things. Yeah. We now have stepped over into this world of spirit and supernatural, and all we're doing is discovering how it works. Yeah. Totally. And that's what I think Jesus well, is and that's, show, right? Exactly. Yeah. And that's what he says in, thir in, in 13. It says, No one ever went up into heaven yeah. except the one who came down from heaven. So, who is he talking about? The Son of Man, whose home is in heaven. This son of man must be lifted up as the serpent was lifted up by Moses, which is another story in the Old Testament, in the wilderness, so that everyone who has faith in him may in him possess eternal life. So um, so here he's talking about himself. He's saying, I'm the one that's going to bring this new way. I'm, yeah. I'm the one that's going to bring this birthing of the spirit on the earth. Because I, I came from heaven, so I can give you heaven. You know what I mean? But he's also the son of man. And why is he saying, I'm the son of man? What is the point of him telling us he's the son of man? Because we're like, isn't he the son of God? Yeah. Like, why? Because he refers to himself as both. So why would he say the son of man? I know it's a big topic and it's deep. Well, but I think but I think we may as well yeah. learn it now. Is why is oh, he yeah. calling himself the son of man? Why did he have to be the son of man? Because he came as a man. Right. Why? Right. And because he had to come as a man... To, to be uh, um, to take Adam's place where Adam fell Jesus came so that he would stand in the same position as Adam as a man and um, and be tempted and feel and and uh, experience pain and all of the things that men feel so that he could partake of, of our um, of our way of life and mm -hmm. yeah and uh, and then, deal with with the same and from issue, the but... right and because of, in genesis which is the beginning of the bible is because god gave the earth to man right like yeah. he gave it for them to steward and what because man fell wasn't the authority taken away from him so a man had to come yeah. like so, man it has yeah. to be born so, of a woman I, i'm going to give you a little, little more religious this is going to be religious yeah, this okay. is going to be religious please <laughs> forgive me um, god delegated the authority of the earth to men Human so he beings. gave it to it. He, yeah. he gave us. He, we're, 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 the, we're the caretakers, if you will, yeah. of the earth. And But the responsibility of that caretaking is ours. Mm -hmm. He delegated us the authority to do it. And we actually have the authority to do it. And it's our responsibility. Mm -hmm. And so when we fell and started messing up all that, in order for us to regain that, Jesus had to become a man in the same nature as us, mm -hmm. be born of a woman, which gives him entrance into the world or authority yeah. on the world, authority, yeah. and walk through everything that we walk through without sin so that he could become the sacrificed lamb, right? Mm -hmm. uh, and, and so that's why he's called the son of man, because he is a man, he's the man, Christ Jesus, born as a man, died as a man, conquered death as a man, conquered sin as a man, fulfilled the whole Old Testament as a man, and now has been raised from the dead and has, re and has, has, has rescinded himself into Son of God, sitting on the right hand of the Father with all authority in heaven and earth. Is that pretty he religious? Was, yeah, no, it was good. good. But like, I think it's you're, he was fully man, but he was also fully God. Yeah. Right? So he, in, there was both things. He, 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 
he showed himself as the son of God to tell him, I am the son of God, yeah. I am the Messiah. But he walked on the earth as a man. Yeah. He used all the authority and power that yes. God gave man to accomplish what man should have accomplished. And that's why always. Jesus says and you can why, do what I do. Yeah. You can act well, like I do. You can we, have what I have. We, we, have, we, we get what because Jesus said because yeah. he, com he completed and fulfilled right. it all. Right, yeah. My, my, my holiness and power, uh, it doesn't do it. It's mm -hmm. the power and the holiness of Jesus Christ inside of me and me in him that actually allows us to do what what we what he said we can do and so he's the only seed he's the perfect man he's the son of man and he is the son of god all combined into one thing yeah right? but i think we have to remember too that that he he uh was under the old the old testament covenant and he operated uh completely as a as a man to show us that this is what a man can do, mm -hmm. right? This is what a man can do living under that law. With the power that, of Jesus. <laughs> With covenant. the power of God in you, right? Yeah. I, never, I, I don't believe that. I don't think he, he came to show us. He came to fulfill that. Yeah, well, yeah, he, that, well that's what I'm saying. Is that well, he came to fulfill that. Well, yeah, right? but if, if, yeah, we, and, if we could have done it, then we, we, we would, he wouldn't have come. We, could, we can't. We couldn't have done it because we were already broken, right? That, you know what I'm saying? He came to but he, fulfill but he it still, so that he yes, became the son. But he's not still so our we, example. Yeah. He's still our example. Like when we read about him, when we when we read about Jesus, we're supposed to look at it and he says, greater things than these you will do. And he, because he came so that he could show us and then die, raise again. You know, that kind of thing. But he had, his father was not an earthly father. Yeah. So he was not, he was man, but he, his father wasn't a man and on earth. Been, so how was he, you know what I mean? So that's why he was fully man and fully God, because he was both things on the earth. But we have, we, <laughs> so we I have, mean, I know it's getting a little bit deep there, but. Oh, well, we have glimpses in, in the Old Testament of, of the greater things. Elijah, Elijah caused, caused a, an axe head to, to oh, flow, yeah, right? That's true. And uh, you know, they told uh, he told Naaman to go down and and dip seven times in the pool, and his leprosy left. So all of those all of those things were were possible mm -hmm. under the old covenant, and and, uh, and with the power and, of God. Yeah, with well, yeah, right. not excluding yeah. the power of God, mm -hmm. but but very few people ever tapped into that because you know the um, when, when Jesus came, he, the pot, he said. He said that when uh, go, and we'll get to that later. He said, "Go into Jerusalem and wait for the Holy Spirit, because when He comes, He will endue you with power." In the Old Testament, the the Holy Spirit came upon people, right, and 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 gave them the strength and the power to do all the the miracles and the mighty things that that they that they did. But in the New Testament, the power of the Holy Spirit comes in us. It comes inside us. Mm. Now it's part of me. It's not something that I'm waiting to come on me. It's in me right now. Okay, well, how was that? that was <laughs> Pretty easy. <hard. laughs> there's, there's a lot of stuff going through us today. So bless you, and we'll talk to you next time.